As you start to earn revenue in your Google AdSense account, it's important to know where you can take a look at your Google AdSense transaction history or where you can update any payment information. To access this area of Google AdSense, we're going to navigate to the top right of our screen and click on the gear icon. From here, we can click on the Payments link. In the Payments section of Google AdSense, we actually have three tabs available to us on the left side of our screen, Payment History, Payee Profile, and Payment Settings. In the Payment History section, we can review the history of any transactions that have been made associated with our Google AdSense account. Also notice that on this screen, we have the ability to sort through these transactions by a number of different ways. We can also export this report to an Excel worksheet in case we need to do any financial calculations. On the right side of this page, we can also specify a different date range for which we'd like to view information. Instead of just viewing information for the last three months, we could look at it for the previous year, this entire year, or a whole number of other different options. If we wanted to make changes to our payee profile, we could click on the payee profile link on the left side of our screen. From here, you could see that if there were any changes to your tax information, you could update them by clicking on the Update Tax Information link. If you scroll down on this page, you'll notice that we have our primary billing contact associated with our AdSense account. We could either modify this contact if the telephone number or email address changes, or we could add an entirely new billing contact to our AdSense account. If you click on the Payment Settings link on the left side of your screen, you can add a new form of payment here if you don't want to use the bank account already associated with your Google AdSense account. In Google AdSense, you need to reach a monthly threshold of over $100 to receive a payment each month. You can't make that threshold any lower. In other words, you can't specify that I want to receive a payment when I only make $50 in a given month, but you can make that threshold higher by clicking on the Configure button. From here, we could say, I don't want to receive a payment if I only make $100. I want my minimum payment to be $250. At the same time, maybe we don't want to receive payments every month. Maybe we want to receive a payment three months from now. We could go ahead and we could have Google AdSense hold our payment until a date in the future. So we could specify that I don't want to receive a payment until May 1st. And that way we wouldn't receive a small payment each month, but we'd get a big chunk maybe every three months. That's completely up to you, and you can do whatever you want in this section of Google AdSense. I'm going to cancel this for now because I currently like how my payment settings are configured. So if at any time while you're using Google AdSense you need to make any changes to your payment settings, this is where you can do it. And it's also where you can take a look at all of your transaction history so you can see how much money you're making and when that money is being sent to you from Google AdSense.